In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create ourselves this bottle of wine using the flat design technique. To begin this design, we're going to head up to the File menu and select New. And from our web templates, we'll choose the 1280 by 1024 pixel document and we'll click Create. Now, the first thing we want to do is draw a background color on top of our canvas. Okay, so head over to your toolbox and select the rectangle tool from over here. In your properties, change the fill color. And you'll do that by either picking one of these yellowy orangey colors or you can go to the color mixer and just type in the code I'll be using, which is FBB03B. And we'll press enter. You'll see you get a yellowy orange kind of color. The stroke can be turned off by hitting the white box with the red line going through it. And you can now just simply click up the top left of the page and drag down to the bottom right of the page and put a background color in. Next thing you're going to do is just go to the layers, expand layer 1, click on this rectangle layer and hit the empty box next to the eyeball, which will display a padlock to show that that layer is now locked and we can no longer modify it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our rectangle tool by holding our mouse down on it and we're going to select the rounded rectangle tool. It's time to start drawing the bottle of wine. Let's change our fill color to a red wine kind of color. So the code I'm going to use for that is 381A. And if we press enter you'll see like a really dark red kind of color. Okay so once we've got that we're going to click and drag up a fairly skinny and decent sized bottle of wine. Probably something looking like so. Just move it in towards the center somewhere. Once you've got that, we're going to grab our white arrow tool. We're going to click and drag over the top two corners. You'll see some little white circles appear. Just grab either one of those little white circles and drag them down towards the center of your bottle as far as they can go. When you see the red semicircle, let go of your mouse and it will just completely round off the edges on the top of the bottle. Do the same for the bottom corners. So click and drag over them with your white arrow and drag them in towards the center. But just don't go as far. You just want a little bit of a rounded edge on the bottom of the bottle. That was probably even a little bit too much. Something like that will look pretty decent. So that's the body section of our bottle. Next thing you want to do is draw the neck of the bottle. Sticking with our rounded rectangle tool, we are going to change the fill color though. I'm going to use a red kind of color. So the red color I want to look for is AF0126. When you press enter, you'll see this reddish color. Now I want you to overlap these, so click and drag up a long skinny neck that will go on the bottle, something like so. And then we're going to highlight both shapes with the selection tool, that will select them both. We'll go up to our window menu and select the align panel. I just want to horizontally align these two items in the center so they're perfectly in the middle with one another. Okay, so we're looking something like that. With this um, neck on the bottle, just right click on it and go to Arrange and Send Backward. And that should just push it behind the bottle of wine itself. So that starts to look a little bit nicer. Alright, uh, the next thing we might do is just combine these shapes together, which means we'll probably end up losing this red colour anyway. We'll bring it back in a moment. So let's go to the Shape Builder tool and press Control A to highlight everything. We'll just click and drag over these shapes. And that will join them together to make one big shape. It's actually gone bright red. Okay, not an issue though. We can simply change the fill color back to that um, maroney kind of color we had, which was 38131A. Okay, so that's how we should be looking so far. The next thing we're going to do is just put a bit of a curve around the neck and the body section here to make it a bit more fluent when they connect with one another. So grab your direct selection tool again, the white arrow. We can drag over that neck section. And you'll see you get two little white circles just outside the neck there. Click and drag out, and you'll see that that just smooths off those edges to make it look a little bit more like a bottle of wine. So if we don't go too far, it'll look a little bit funny, but we should have it looking at something like that. Thank you, though. Next thing I'm going to do is just throw a few labels on down here. So we do that by grabbing our rectangle tool back. I'm going to change the fill color to a just off white color. So it's F2, F2, F2. And we're going to simply click and draw a label that goes from one side of the bottle 
to the other. Above that, actually just click off it first, so they're not selected. So that one a little bit outside the lines too, so be careful that these just snap right on the lines. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, click off everything, and then I'm going to grab my rectangle tool back and change the fill color to a red kind of color, which is AF0126 if you wanted the code. And we will throw a rectangle straight above the other one. This time, obviously, going to be a lot smaller. Something like that would be pretty good. Now, on this label, we can put some writing if you want, but I'm just going to keep it simple and throw in a few more rectangles. Okay. I'm going to press my eyedropper tool actually to go back and select this maroon color first. And then I'll grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw towards the bottom third a rectangle that's somewhat thick. And then I'm going to do two smaller, skinnier rectangles below that. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here. You can use your black arrow, hold down the Alt key, and then just click and drag down to get two of those. Try and get them centered in the bottle if you can. They're all grouped with one another. There we go, centered in the middle of the bottle there. So it's just a pretend bit of writing that you'd expect to see on a bottle of wine. Okay. Next thing I might do is just put a little symbol in here, like a little logo, I guess, for the bottle of wine, which is going to be a sun. Okay, just some different colors though to the usual sun. The way we do it is we go to our ellipse tool, first of all, and we're going to change the fill color to this red again. So I might grab my eyedropper tool just to save time and click on that red. I'll go back and grab my ellipse tool, hold shift, and draw out a little circle, like so. Next thing I'm going to do is just click off everything with our selection tool, grab the eyedropper again, and grab this maroon color back again. Once you've got the fill color as that maroon color, we're going to change our shape to the polygon tool. We're going to click once on the page and make sure our sides are set to three. And click OK, and we'll get a triangle on the page. Using our black arrow or selection tool again, we'll just resize that so it's a fair bit smaller and stick it just on top of that circle. Probably something like so. Okay. Now you want this behind the red circle, so just right click on it, arrange it, and send it backward. That'll put it behind the red circle. Making sure these are perfectly in line with one another, I just want you to go to your align panel again and choose the horizontal align center for those two shapes. All right, what we're going to do now with this triangle is just repeat it the whole way around the circle. Okay, and there's a quick way to do that. Highlight both of these shapes first of all, go over to your toolbox and look for this curly arrow here which is the rotate tool. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and go and click right in the center of that circle. You should actually see the word center appear. So hold Alt, click, a box will come up, make the angle 18 degrees, that will divide into 360 degrees, Okay, that's why I chose 18. Um, you click preview if you want, you can see that what it's going to do and just click copy and it puts in a second triangle for us without clicking anything just press ctrl D a handful of times until that triangle comes all the way around back to the start like so you've now got a little sun feature okay, I'm just going to highlight all of that and just ctrl G on my keyboard to group it together to make it one big shape so now you can just pick it up and move it around like a little sun I'm going to cut the bottom of it off so using my rectangle tool again, I'll just change the color to something a bit bright. We're going to get rid of this in a moment. And we're going to click and drag probably around there. Looks good. So I'm going to cut off those rays. Yeah, so we're going to cut off this bottom section of the sun. So the way we do that is click and drag over the top of all those shapes just on the left there and use our shape builder tool. Hold down Alt and start deleting away. Okay, we might have to do a bit of a scribble here just on the green part just to get rid of all of this. Okay, and you can let go of your mouse and see how that's looking. Still a few bits there that need to go, so hold Alt and just click and drag your mouse over the top of them. And they will eventually disappear. Now you might get a few little dots still around here that need to go. Okay, so Grab your eraser tool, that might be an even quicker way to do it. 
Okay, you can play with the size of your brush if you need to and just start rubbing out. My brush is a bit small at the minute. Um, so I'm just going to hold the right square bracket till it's big enough and then I can just click and drag over some of these pieces. And you can see them disappearing, but they're not taking away the background. Something like that will look pretty good. Okay, it's not completely perfect. I can still see a few little bumps and whatnot down there, but don't stress, you won't see it when you zoom out. Pick up that sun now and just put it on your bottle. Just resize it using your selection tool so that it fits nicely. Make sure it's right in the center. Okay, don't make it too big, but again, don't make it too small. Something like that looks pretty good. I'll just move these up a little bit, space them out a little bit. Looks good. Okay, so that's the label on our bottle of wine looking pretty sweet. Uh, the next thing we might do is head up to the top where we've got to do a lid on this bottle. And we've also got to um, put a little bit of green in here. I'll show you what that green's all about in a sec. So grab your rectangle tool now and change your fill color, making sure you're not clicked on anything first. We're going to choose the red that we used in that sun there. So I'll just type the code back in for that, which was AF0. One, two, six. And I'm just going to simply click and drag over the top of that where I'd expect a lid to go on my bottle. So probably about there. Using my black arrow, I'm just going to click and drag over the top of everything. Or you could press Control A. Grab your Shape Builder tool. Hold down the Alt key and just click on the outside part there to remove any excess shapes. And you've now got a kind of um, lid on your bottle. To make it look a bit more realistic, I'm going to grab my rounded rectangle tool again and click off everything and just choose a different shade of red. So I'm going to go a bit lighter using the code CE083F. Uh, and I'm going to draw at the top here just a little rounded rectangle that goes off like so. Using the white arrow, I'm just going to stretch those little white circles back out a bit so it's not as rounded. Get it right in the center. Have it looking something like that. It just makes it look like a bit of a better lid. I'm just going to put a bit of green in here now just to show that there's a little bit of um, empty bottle between the wine and the lid or the neck up there. So using my rectangle tool, I'll change my fill color to a green, which is going to be 596AOA. I don't know if it's a zero or an O. A zero, so we'll, be, we'll try that again. So five nine six um, A zero A. That's got it. So you can see the green color now is our fill. Uh, all I want to do is just start level with that red bit. Click and drag down to say about there. That's where the neck starts to curve. Again, highlight everything using your selection tool. Use your shape builder. Hold Alt and just delete those extra bits outside the bottle. Okay, so that's just like an empty part of the bottle before the wine comes in down here. Okay, if we zoom out and have a look, you can see this is starting to come together quite nicely. I think the last thing that we need to do now is just put a um, shadow across half the bottle and we'll be done. So grab your rectangle tool, change the fill color to black, and your opacity here to 35%. Click and drag rectangle that goes over half of the bottle exactly. Looks like we have to change that opacity again anyway, it didn't quite stick. There we go. Press Control A to highlight everything and use your Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and just click outside the bottle. You know what, there's a few little green things over here, we'll just delete. There we go. So that is how we draw a bottle of wine. I can see it's a little bit out of proportion. The neck's probably a little bit too skinny and the body's a bit too fat, but minor issue, and I'm sure you can fix it on yours, but hopefully you end up with something looking just like this one here. Okay, and that's how we draw a bottle of wine using Adobe Illustrator.